Today we're going to make a clay teacup. Here is an example of what we're going to make. You will start with a nugget of clay. You want to divide this up, pinch off a little bit for the foot or the rim of the pot, pinch off a little bit for the handle, and turn the rest into a sphere. You will do this by squeezing it in your hands until it gets into a ball shape. You have to kind of squeeze hard. Now roll. I'm using the palm of my hand to roll it. I don't want to roll it on the table because then it will have sort of a flat side. My palms are perfectly shaped to roll this into a ball shape. Once you have a ball, you're going to turn it into a pinch pot. Pinch pot is just a little cup or pot that you make by pinching. So the first thing I'm going to do is stick my thumb to make the hole of the pot. So I'm going to take my thumb, and your thumb is a little sh shorter than mine, so you will mostly be covering your thumb with this and I want to push it all the way in until about a finger's width from the edge of my clay ball or a pencil width from the edge. So I'm going to press it in, kind of really force it into the very bottom of this ball until I feel like it's close to the edge, about a pencil's width from the edge. Now I'm going to start pinching to turn it into this cup shape here. I'm going to use my fingers and squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. As I am doing this, my walls are going to start to become thinner. These are the walls of my cup, these parts right here. As you can see here, they're very thick here, and they're much thinner here. This is what I want. I want it to be about as thick as a pencil or my finger. I don't want it to be thick like this. I also want to make sure that they are not thick at the very bottom. So I'm going to keep pinching and turning, and they're going to start to become thinner and thinner. I can fit two thumbs in now, so I'm going to pinch both at the same time until I start to have a cup. Notice that I'm keeping my fingers relatively straight. I'm not angling them like that. I don't want a flat, shallow bowl that's like this. I want a cup that's more like this. So I'm going to keep my fingers straight to achieve that. Another thing that will happen while you are doing this is you will start to have cracks in the rim, which is this part right here. That's okay, you can smooth those out after you are done or during if you've got a big one. Now I have a cup. <clears throat> Before I move on to my handle and my foot, there's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on the table and I'm just going to press it a little bit so that I have a bit of a flat part to attach that foot to. It's called a foot. It's kind of like the rim here of the teacup. This part right here is what I'm making next. And I do the exact same thing that I just did. So I take the nugget 
and I roll it into a ball shape in the palm of my hand. Then I stick my thumb in. I usually pick a part where there's a crack to push it in, like that, about a pencil's width from the edge, and then I start to pinch. For this part, it does not matter if it becomes a low, flat bowl like this. That's okay. We don't necessarily want this to be as tall as the cup that we just made. We want it to be a little bit more low and flat. So kind of the opposite of what we wanted before. Instead of a tall cup, we want a lower flat bowl. So I am angling my fingers in that kind of triangle instead of like that. I'm going to smooth it out with my finger. And then again, I'm going to press it on the table to get a flat part. So these two pieces will go together like this. Before I put them together though, I need to do something that you have probably not done before. I need to do something called slipping and scoring. This is one of the main skills that we learn when we do clay projects in elementary school. Slipping and scoring is a really important part of the clay process. It's used to kind of glue two pieces of clay together so that they will not come apart when it goes into the kiln. The kiln is the big giant oven type thing that fires the clay. It's called firing it, but it's kind of like cooking except it gets over a thousand degrees in the kiln. It's very, very hot. So to slip and score, we are just going to use a clay tool to make scratch marks on the surface of both pieces that we are gluing together. Scratch, 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 scratch. And then we will use water to glue them together. The score marks allow the water to sink into the clay a little bit, and then the water glues the two pieces together. If I just set it on there like that, that will not work very well. It will not stay in the kiln. What I need to do instead is press it a little bit on there so that I know the two pieces are really solid together, continuing to smooth out any cracks that come up. And I'm gonna test it, and looking, it's looking pretty solid there. And now I'm ready for the handle. I'm going to take my last nugget of clay, and this time I'm going to kind of squeeze it into a lumpy log shape. So it's kind of getting more thin, like that. Once I have a lumpy log, I'm going to roll it on the table to get a nice smooth coil. Rolling a coil is something that you will also probably use in future clay projects. I'm just rolling with my fingers. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just rolling outwards. So my fingers are going outwards progressively. Then I'm just going to form this into a C shape. I move it a little at a time so that I can prevent too many cracks from happening. Smooth out those cracks that do happen. And then I'm ready to slip and score it on. You just saw this process. Again, it is very, very important that you do this in order to make sure that this does not fall off in the kiln and that it is solidly attached on there. So I'm just going to take the part where I'm going to put it onto my teacup and I'm going to scratch there. I'm just setting this here so that I can see exactly where to scratch so I'm not just scratching in a random place. That's where I'm going to attach it. Scratch you, like so. A little bit of water, 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 and water. Let it sink into those cracks, and then I'm going to put it on. If I just set it like that, it will not stay on in the kiln. It will break off very easily. So instead, I want to really solidly kind of push it on there so that it's stuck onto the teacup nicely. And 
And then I have my teacup. Before you are done and you bring it back to the board, you will need to have the teacher write your name in the bottom, your grade, which is second grade, and the first letter of your teacher, which might be S. And then it is done.